four types of respiratory failure. Uh, type one respiratory failure is due to uh, hypoxemia. Uh, these patients will not respond to uh, oxygen support and um, the causes can be pulmonary edema or pneumonia, ARDS, uh, or uh, uh, you know the situations where the lungs are uh, infected. So in this situation, when the oxygen support is not uh, gain, you know, uh, efficient enough to correct hypoxemia, uh, we call it as uh, acute hypoxemic respiratory failure. Type two respiratory failure, uh, we will see the patient will be hypoventilating. Uh, okay, and uh, this will lead to increase in carbon dioxide. And uh, uh, these patients will also have increase in venous ventilation. Because of hypoxemia, so uh, alveolar hypoventilation, especially when the patient is under the effect of sedation, our patient has some residual uh, muscle paralysis, especially post-operative patients uh, who have undergone, who have received anesthesia and they are still under the influence of anesthesia. So these patients will uh, hypoventilate and their minute ventilation will be low and there will be retention of carbon dioxide. Type 3 respiratory failure is something uh, where the alveolar are not uh, you know, uh, open enough. The alveolar are probably collapsed. Uh, and uh, you need to add some amount of PEEP to keep the alveoli open. This usually happens in uh, intra-abdominal surgeries. Our patient is in supine position. Our patient is in prone position where some part of the alveolar telectatic or it is uh, not contributing in uh, oxygenation. Our ARDS uh, for that matter, you know, the, the, we know the baby lung concept where the, the uh, Alveoli which are affected are not open, uh, uh, doesn't open up with the positive pressure ventilation and instead they divert the tidal volume to normal alveoli and this normal alveoli will get over inflated and will cause a compression effect on the affected alveoli which again doesn't open up. So atelectasis means inability of the alveoli to open up in oxygen exchange uh, and if this condition is there, we call it as type 3 respiratory failure. And type 4 respiratory failure is because of circulatory failure, hypovolemic shock or cardiogenic shock. Uh, that will lead to hypoperfusion of the organs because of low cardiac output or low oxygen delivery to the tissues due to low cardiac output. Uh, that will lead to hypoperfusion and that is type 4 shock. 